So this is the electric motor that I'm going to use to start my turbine engine. If you look at the top here, I end up having to machine the shaft of the um, engine output shaft down significantly in order to fit this uh, little Bendix clutch on the end. So this uses uh, centripetal force to throw the Bendix clutch out and engage the shaft of the uh, compressor housing wheel nut which uh, allows the turbine to start spinning up to 12,000 RPM at which point I add a little bit of fuel and light the fire and this thing starts going from there as opposed to having to start it with a vacuum cleaner. And if you look down here I ended up having to add this rubber grommet onto the end as there's a small rubber grommet on the inside that you can see there that was not large enough to uh, engage the compressor housing and ended up riding on this outside uh, brass um, sleeve of the Bendix clutch and didn't engage the, the the compressor wheel nut enough to get it moving. So this is what I ended up building. Uh, holding it in place and testing it, it works just fine. Um, it's really important that this interior uh, shaft and then the external sleeve both there remain extraordinarily clean. You don't want to put any oils or lubricants on them as it will cause the Bendix clutch to uh, collect dirt and grime, which will build up in there and not allow this thing to move as appropriate. It's a pretty cool little setup. Um, should work out just fine for what I need to do. Now I just need to work on a mounting bracket that's gonna use these two screw holes here. Uh, and then I need to make sure that it's centered up on the actual compressor housing itself. As we bring it over here, this guy basically <clears throat> engages right there. And then you offset it by about a millimeter and that little bit of a millimeter space is enough for that Bendix clutch to engage the shaft of the uh, compressor and turbine. And what that allows you to do is apply 12 volts DC to the the actual motor itself. You see it's a 12 volt motor that's good to 12,000 RPM. Uh, once the uh, power is removed from that engine, it um, allows the Bendix clutch to slow down. And when it slows down, it disengages that little uh, shaft there and uh, allows it to spin freely, allows the compressor housing can spin freely. Anyways, uh, that's what I've been working on today. We've got everything up and working. Everything seems to be doing all right. Uh, got a lot more videos coming up shortly. Hope you guys enjoy.